Um, that was the worst game I think I've ever played. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I thought uh, since later this week we are going to be getting access to Crimson Val, I believe on the 11th, uh, I thought we'd take some time and jump away from Standard uh, and talk about Historic Brawl. Uh, this is a format that we've played a little bit of uh, over the course of the last couple months, uh, and I've really enjoyed it. It's sort of like Commander Light, uh, in my view, but it's obviously available on Arena, which makes it a lot more pleasurable to just play because it's a better interface. Uh, anyway, um, we're trying something out today. So this is Mono Red, Chandra Awakened Inferno. So the idea is essentially we have like every Chandra in the world in the deck. So there's Flames Catalyst, uh, we've got Heart of the Flame, we've got Torch of Defiance, Defiance Pyromancer, uh, Fire Artisan, all just tons of Chandras. Uh, we do have the Regulator in here, uh, as well as Chandra's Triumph. The idea is basically just burn the opponent out, uh, but we've got, there's a lot of really good stuff in Mono Red. So like, there's a lot of just basic burn, there's a lot of really good just like steel stuff mechanics, not steel stuff necessarily, but just like, Chaos Wand allowing you to pull an instant or sorcery. Now, obviously this isn't mono red, but it works really well in mono red because the idea is that we're hopefully playing out just a bunch of stuff. And then the, the big expensive spells were either playing immediately and just kind of getting as much value as possible, or we're holding on to, uh, but we'll see how that works out. We do have some birds invocation, hopefully to get us some extra stuff. Haven't played this deck at all. We're going to test this out. Um, I like kind of going in blind with a deck like this. I think it's really, really fun. Uh, if nothing else, you guys can laugh at how much I mess up. But I think it'll be a really interesting list, guys. This is uh, fascinating. I will say this was not created by me. This was created by Strider Stone over on Aetherhub. I do want to make sure I'm crediting whoever created these lists. So uh, Strider Stone, thank you so much for putting this together. Let's give it a shot. Let's just see what happens, guys. Hopefully we can have some fun uh, and enjoy this uh, Chandra Awakened Inferno list. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and this is a pretty easy keep, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, the idea of this deck for the record is basically to ping the opponent to death. So we're going to try and do that. Uh, I like this hand. We're going to lead off with Field of the Dead, I believe, um, since we don't really have a turn one play. We can hold on to the Tor mod script. We really don't have to play it right away. Um, it doesn't hurt us to play it. It just gives them the ability to kill it, which is kind of the problem that I don't want to run into. Um, and it may not even be all that worth it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Um, and I'll go ahead and play this out just for the heck of it. Uh, sure. No mana was spent to cast it. We definitely did that in the wrong order. <laughs> Starting off strong. Uh, that's okay. Um, your opponent can't gain life this turn. That's helpful. All right. Uh, yeah, we definitely should have played that in the reverse order. Everything's fine. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do. This is the danger of uh, playing a deck and not knowing what it does. Um, <laughs> all right. We take a damage. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. Um, hmm. We can lava coil this. Uh, alternatively, we could just do this and throw some stuff out there. I kind of like that play. Let's just see what happens. Um, and we can just attack in here with both. Obviously, they just block one of them, but the goal is just to ping. So again, we're just trying to get as much damage in as possible. Wow. Why would you not block one of those? That seems odd, not going to lie, um, but that's fine. Uh, we do have the Hour of Devastation, which is part of why I didn't just immediately Lava Coil this. Um, we also have a bigger threat coming down, obviously, so... Interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, pass. They are gonna attack Chandra, that's fine. Um, it's not great for us, but honestly it keeps us from taking extra damage, so that's good. Uh, no land, that's a little unhelpful. Let's go ahead and play this out. Uh, let's Lava Coil. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that off the field. Um, 
Obviously, they can just replay that at some point if they would like, but it does slow them down a little bit here. We'll just keep pinging away. Again, that's the goal. Um, we get to leave up the <clears throat> the uh, players can't gain life, or the opponent can't gain life this turn, which is helpful. Unfortunately, we don't have a great follow-up play here. Um, we don't have a land. We do have our devastation if we get a land, but that's not exactly that great. Um, okay. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, well, see what happens. Sure. This really doesn't equate to any extra damage, so that's kind of fine. <laughs> Uh, they basically crewed that for the sake of crewing it, uh, which is cool. I mean, no harm done, uh, but they didn't really need to. All right, uh, we take a damage. There's a mind stone, which I guess is semi helpful. Um, so I think the play is we just end up passing here. Um, they're going to take a da they're going to take one point of damage here. We do have the hour of devastation next turn. Uh, which is kind of the important piece here. I expect that they may just play this out. Their uh, Dipala pilot exemplar. Um, we would have been five points ahead in this race had we not played the Tormod script first or second. I was just dumb on my end, but that's fine. Uh, oh, very nice. Okay. I mean, that's very, very good. Um, and it can get haste this turn, so that's really solid. Yep. You got it. All of this is fantastic. Uh, whenever Garrison attacks, untap another target artifact creature. Okay. Oh. Really? Why wouldn't you? Uh, I guess it can't because a crew six. Oh, that makes sense. Duh. All right, that's fine. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's pretty good. Um. Well, first and foremost, let's get all of this out of here. Um, let's just sweep the board. Next turn we can shatter storm and get a nice little three for one. Now we do blow up our own stuff here a little bit, which is kind of bad, but uh, we'll see. If we get a land, we're actually in okay shape. Living weapon, sure. You got it. Uh, this is gonna be great. The shatter storm. I mean, this sweeps their board. Essentially, they're gonna have pilot exemplar left. Yeah, you can crew that. That's cool. Uh, I guess we just go ahead and crack the crypt. Since it really doesn't... It's gonna die to the Shatterstorm. So I think that that's probably just correct. Um, we're gonna take two here. That sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Yep. Alright. Um, so the question is, can, do we think we can draw a land off the top? Um... I feel like the chances are quite slim. Uh, so I think we just have to go for this. This really sucks, but I think it's just the only thing we can do. Uh, all right. And unfortunately, again, we are in a, uh, a little tricky position here. Uh, so hopefully we can get through it, but we'll see. They just get to replay this. Or do that. Okay. Uh, yep. I think, so this makes me feel a little better only because I think we were going to die anyway. <laughs> um, but obviously not great. Um, can Sean just triumph that? Uh, yep. And I guess we just play this out for the lands just so we can do something. I'm going to obviously enter it tapped. It's all we can do. Um... Roiling Vortex, in hindsight, bad play on my end. Um, <laughs> very bad play, uh, but that's fine. All right. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. We also just didn't draw land, which is kind of sucky, but it is what it is. All right, take one. Hey, look, land. That would have been helpful a long time ago. All right. So we do just get to sweep here. We have to sweep. Um, 
technically kind of keeps us in it, but like we're four points away from death and we have a Royal League Vortex on the field. We didn't play super well. That's all I'm saying. Um, but that's cool. That is fine. Learning experience, guys. All right. I wish I could blow this up. That'd be really helpful right now. It'd be like super, super helpful. Oh, don't get haste. Don't get haste. Which counter did it get? Vigilance. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can just minus three again. That's not super helpful. Um, But I think we kind of have to. So we can do this. Uh, <laughs> this sucks so bad. Um, It's not an elemental, it's a giant. Just making sure. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, that's all we can do. We do have the Sunbirds invocation, which could be kind of fun, but we we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna do it. Man, if only. All right. Yep. Down to two. Heck yeah. Uh. All right. Rampaging for Ocidon. Oh. Why is whatever all right that was really bad we learned we learned okay it's fine um that was the worst game i think i've ever played let's jump into a second game all right guys we started off really terribly let's see if we can do a little better this time uh this is a keep we've got plenty of sweepers uh, and we are against a chainer deck um so let's give this one a shot um we at least have some land so that's positive let's do that um yeah, that was just bad. The Roiling Vortex was a bad play on my end. Just realistically shouldn't have done it, but it's fine. Um, we'll pass. We've got Cinderclasm up. Next turn, we obviously have Fiery Cannonade or Sweltering Suns, um, both of which are pretty good. So let's see what they do here. We're going to just draw a card and lose a life. That's fine. Um, part of me just kind of wants to Cinderclasm and be overly aggressive. The other part of me says wait, so we'll wait. Um, we can instant speed fiery cannonades, so I'm not terribly worried about being, like, hit with a 2-2 here. Oh, even better. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. That was fantastic. <laughs> we set them back a land on that? That was great. All right, um, I think we just passed. We've got, uh, Yadaro here that we can cycle away, uh, which I think we will just do now. Um, I do want to hold on to the Sweltering Suns, given that this is such a, most likely, a, uh, creature-heavy deck. Um, cool. There's a Blast Zone. That's quite good. Um, alright, well, let's just get Chandra going. Uh, let's shoot them for two. We're not gonna discard our hand. Uh, I mean, we've got, we've got a pretty good hand. <laughs> Is that shelf you may cast them this turn? Add six. That's very good. Okay. Cool. You got us. So Chandra dealt two damage. Heck yeah. Um, that's not that good, but that's fine. Lightning bolt. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually think we're gonna play the uh, the more mana efficient play, which is to get the Brash Taunter out here. Okay. So the good news here is that they're wasting, not wasting, but they're they're definitely using up a lot of their removal, uh, which is a positive for us. Wow, okay, calm down. Um, that's a problem. Uh, we do have Lightning Bolt, but that really doesn't do it, does it? All right, uh, what can we do against that? Very little, as it turns out. Um, we've got Treasure Map, might as well play it. Uh, Let's see, minus eight. All right, I mean, there's nothing we can do. I think we just have to pass. Uh, ugh. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tricky. We can't really do too much about that. We just have to let it happen. Um, there's the Marauding Raptor, sure. Uh, that's actually okay. I mean, we can kill it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Oh, very good. Okay. Um. Yep. 
We're gonna let them do their thing. Yeah, that was a bit bit of an oops on their end, but that's fine. All right. Um, we gotta do something here. We can't hit the. Can we not? I thought we could redirect. Is that not a thing? That seems a little iffy. Uh, whatever. That's fine. Let's draw the land. We definitely need it. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. So they can't hit us on the Planeswalker end, which is helpful to know. Um, I think we just have to do this. I think the play is actually to plus. Wait a second. Did I mess that up? Yep, I did. Um, we should have killed the... Oh, that's fine. No, because we couldn't have killed uh, Tabalt anyway. Um, so that's fine. I mean, it sucks, but it's cool. We at least have a damage counter going on them now, so... I mean, they are under some amount of pressure, just for that. Um, yeah, that's really good. To the battlefield. Wow, okay. They only got one, but that's still really, really good. Uh, and that does allow them to kill Chandra here. On the plus side, we just can sweep and their board goes away, so there's helpfulness there. Uh, and they only did get a land there. We also, I mean, I guess we have Chandra, but like we don't have that much in our graveyard. Um, take action, definitely want that in the command zone. Oh! <laughs> well, that's even better. Um, okay, well, I mean, first things first, we definitely just have to sweep. Get everything off the board. Resolve, that's fine. Um, doing this now, I'm exiling their graveyard. Just getting everything out of there, I feel like that's worthwhile. Um, kind of want to scry first and see what's on top. Yeah, I'm actually going to leave that on top. Just in case they want to... I'm good to have that. I'm also good if they just want to take it. <laughs> um, we also scribed to the top, making it seem like we wanted the card, theoretically. We're kind of trying to play a little bit here, and it's probably not going to work, but that's fine. Yep. Oh, they did it. Okay. Cool. You got the compass. That's not that good. For, I mean, it's fine, but it's not really that great. All right. Uh, we can't kick this, so we can't kill the Chainer, for the record. Be great if we could, but can't. All right. Hit us for three. You got it. All right. Uh. So we might, uh. If we draw a land, what we can do is... Chandra plus one lightning bolt the chainer. Discard a card, yeah. Um Alright, well we didn't do that. That kind of sucks. Um Let's see, what can we do? Not a lot. I don't know. I'm just gonna play this out because I'm pretty sure we're just gonna die. Um which is like fine. Oh I guess we ugh. Yeah, we could have done that, but that's fine. All right. Guys, we're not playing super well. That's just the reality of it. But on top of that, uh, we're kind of just not... We are we don't have a lot of answers for these, I feel like. That kind of sucks. Um, yep. Okay, well, there's Ulamog. All right. I'm going to concede. We'll try for one more game, guys. We'll see if we can get a win. I know we're not playing super well. Uh, we'll hopefully kind of clean that up a little bit, but I also think we just didn't have a great choice there. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, if we could get another land, we're in really good shape. We are against a Sigarda deck, uh, so chances are they're going to have quite a number of creatures. Uh, if we can get an extra land, we've got both Anger of the Gods and Sweltering Suns. We've also got Pyromant. Master, excuse me, coming down later. 
Itali is just a super sick card as well, so. Alright, uh, we have Chandra's Triumph up. Uh, okay. I mean, it's technically a land. We really need a double red there. I feel like there's something with the mana base doesn't seem great here. Um, let's go ahead and hit this. Get that out of there. We're not trying to... I don't want to mess with that. Um, all right. Alpine Moon. I have no clue what the opponent might have here. Um, I'm actually going to cycle this away. And we draw a shock. We have no lands in this deck. I wonder what the land count is. I actually don't know. Seriously? Um, just going to shock this. I guess they don't have lands either. That's the only bright side right now. <laughs> They've only got two. We've at least got three. Um, so go us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, that's very helpful. Deals one damage to play and play one damage. Uh, yeah. Let's just do this. And let's start plussing up. Doesn't really matter the creature. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm waiting for them to play more stuff because I kind of just want to. I mean, I guess they can kill this if they want. They can just tap this and kill it. I assume they're trying to win the race by not doing that. Oh, it has vigilance. I guess they could. Well, attack me and then kill Chandra. Like that's a trade up. That's a really good trade up. But whatever. All right, land is very very good here. Okay. Perfect. All right, so. Uh, let's do first things first. We're going to deal the damage here first. Let's get that out of the way. Um, let's do this. And try and kill this. They didn't tap it in response. Could they not? Target legendary permanent. Oh, that's an artifact creature enchantment. Duh. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Path to the festival. They get a basic land. That's fine. I do not care about that. Um, ooh, that's really sick. Oh, I like that card. Um, all right, let's deal two. Uh, let's actually zero. Let's see what we get here. All right, land is helpful. Let's do this. We're just getting every Chandra we can out. Uh, and let's plus up. All right. Thank goodness. That only worked because they didn't draw lands, uh, but we did get it. So that was really funny. Um, all right, let's talk about this. All right, obviously guys, that was not the cleanest subset of games. We did not play well, uh, especially in the first game. I think the second game we played okay, but um, we just didn't really get what we needed. Uh, I'm curious really quickly, um, and I'll open this back up just for you guys to see, but I want to know how many lands this deck actually has. Um, this is, I, it felt like we were missing lands quite a bit. It has 39. Okay, well, maybe we just got unlucky. I don't know. Regardless, though, uh, it was a fun build. I like the idea of just being able to ping people uh, and, and hopefully win that way. Obviously, we could have played a lot cleaner, so hopefully uh, if you do test this deck out, please make sure uh, you're not pinging yourself to death. Uh, other than that, though, it was actually a good time. So anyway, I, I just want to say it was silly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, Strider Stone, thank you so much for creating this list. It was not me. I just want to make sure that that's said. Uh, but regardless, just kind of silly. It was just kind of a fun little pingy deck. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did and subscribe if you are not already. Uh, and feel free to point out my incorrect plays in the comment section below. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.